It's really good to reflect on where we've been just to know that it wasn't long ago that we were uh, just a Bible study. Uh, transitioning from a few libraries to then going to uh, St. Andrew's Episcopal Church. And then uh, with, uh, with his sureness in our faith, but we weren't sure what it was going to look like with people coming. And then we started our very first worship celebration on Easter Sunday of this year, uh, 2015. And uh, to see how we started, uh, we had our our ushers and our team, we had ropes on the pews uh, because we didn't know uh, who was going to come. So we wanted to make sure we seated people from the front to the back. I mean, to, uh, we didn't want there just be empty spaces to see how we started there. Uh, then there was no, uh, no kids point. We had no um, activities for youth. Uh, we had no small group ministry, um, so many things that we started out with and nothing was there, just a word and belief that God was going to add to the church. But since then, since we've started, uh, we still have our, have our ropes. Uh, we still believe in seating people from the front to the back, uh, but we don't have to use them as much. Uh, the church is almost full to capacity. Uh, we now have a children's ministry called Kids Point uh, that meets every week. We have wonderful volunteers that help uh, with the Kids Point. Um, we are through the giving uh, that has been happening weekly at the church. Uh, we've been able to purchase cameras. Uh, we've added new lighting. Uh, you see I'm sitting on the stage here today just to kind of visualize some of the things that are happening with the lighting. Uh, we've uh, been able to pay, of course, for our facility usage fees and things that we do to stay in the building that we're in. Uh, we've added microphones, new microphones that have been on the stage, a podium. Um, we've been able to give uh, to help the community uh, through feeding and uh, other different things. Uh, uh, we're actually even identifying different single parents uh, to be able to help them. And that has all been through uh, the giving that has happened. We've had our marketing, uh, whether that be media or social media or um, the different materials that we've given out, the website update. There's just been so many things, music equipment. So we've got new drums and we've just added a lot of different things through the general support of all of the members and the friends that have been coming to Growth Point. Uh, so just to think that it was just a few months ago that all we started with was just um, a belief, a dream, and a word. And to see that just a few months later, um, our membership, our family membership, uh, community filled with leaders, our Growth Point members, we don't just look at them as members, but leaders that have influence that are coming has grown from just a small nucleus of 30, 25 to 30 people to now we're almost at 100 um, in our family connections from um, men, women to uh, seniors, uh, to mid-adults, to young adults, to youth, to the children. Uh, we have black, uh, we have white, Hispanic. Um, there's just, we're becoming a multiracial church uh, that is cross-generational. And that is our mission, to lead and connect lives to Jesus. Uh, we want to be a multiracial, uh, multi-generational church and we're well on our way. Uh, and that's just happened in just a few months. It's good to reflect on where we